Hi Gemini, my name is Megan and welcome to this July reading. So let's get right into it and see what overall messages for July Spirit has for you guys. Oh, we got two right there. So we have chop wood. So what I'm feeling with this is Spirit is really asking you to look around your home, look around your life, and look at where you can kind of clean up certain things. So chopping wood in what they're giving me right now is like about certain things you have to do in order to, like when you're chopping wood, you're preparing for like a winter, for a fire. So what they're saying with this message is that to start preparing for the next phase of your life by clearing out and doing the duties that you need to in order to prepare you for that next part. When you have too many things on your plate, your energy can be kind of scattered and cluttered. So this is about making a list for July and kind of like de-weeding your garden, so to speak. So what around your house is cluttery that you can kind of um, clear away, get rid of, send to you know, the goodwill or giveaway to kind of clear the energy space in your home. And then what can you do by going through your phone or your, you know, electronic devices to kind of clear away the clutter in those? And then what can you do by going into meditation to clear away like the mental clutter? So it's about clearing away the clutter and kind of preparing yourself by doing these acts or doing these chores, so to speak, to Kind of clear the energetic space to where you now are ready for new energy to approach and come in. And you'll be a lot clearer. You'll feel like more cleansed and just a lot more free. And then we have to be fair. So what I'm feeling with this is that you guys are going to be balanced. You're balancing your energy out a lot in uh, July. It's like this wisdom from spirit. There's like an owl on here. I don't know if you can see that. There's this wisdom coming in and it's going to be helping you to balance out your energies and to balance certain areas of your life out. It's kind of going back to that chopped wood. So it's about doing what you can to create balance in your life. However you see that needs to be at your job, in your personal life, with your emotional body, your mental body, your spiritual body, your physical body. It's all about creating balance for you in July. All right, let's get into the tarot. What is coming for Gemini in July? Okay, so we have these two cards. And then I'm going to split the deck for the rest. And then we'll keep those on the side. I'm going to start with this card. So we have Eight of Cups. So Eight of Cups, this is about walking away from something, leaving something behind, um, retreating, maybe uh, going on like a spiritual journey. You're a little bit going into your intuition, diving deeper into yourself, seeing what life is really about for you. Um, it's like a vision quest, like a spiritual quest is what I'm feeling here. Yeah, I just feel like this, uh, this um, not isolation. Well, yeah, it's like the hermit card for me also is what I'm feeling here is that after you guys kind of clear away the clutter, I feel like you're going to want to spend time alone with your own energy away from other energies to kind of balance your energies before you go put yourself in other energetic spaces. Um, because sometimes when we are not clear with our own energy, we pick up on other energies and then we can become contaminated by other energies and we think that that's our energy and our emotions and our feelings and our thoughts and it's not. So it's about developing almost like a spiritual practice or a ritual that you can do um, every day, like meditation or like going for a walk or just something that you can be with your own energy to balance you out 
to calm you down, to clear your mind so that you can gain wisdom and guidance for um, how to you know, go through your day. And we also have Eight of Wands. So Eight of Wands is a quickening energy. This is, um, you know, speed, action, news, uh, news about something arriving with quick pace. So I'm going to just leave this card here, and then we're going to see what other energies are going with that to get a feel of what is quickly happening. All right, we have the Star card. So this could be... You guys getting in the public eye more if you are, you know, being called to get on YouTube or social media to share your gifts, your talents, your ideas, however you see it fit. I feel, you know, a certain part of a certain amount of people watching this are going to be called to that in July. And then for others that don't resonate with that, it's about wishing upon a star and really believing in yourself. And the universe that you can manifest what you want. This is also kind of like a healing energy. So it's about renewal, inner clarity, hope, believing in miracles, having faith in all that you desire. And I feel that this balancing, like if you go into a practice of meditating every day, you're going to manifest your your desires quickly is what this feels like. It's all about balancing and clearing the clutter for you. And once you do that, it's like you then have the clarity to really sit with your manifestations and put more power behind it because your energy is clear and pure. It's not tainted by clutter, basically. So your manifestations won't be distorted or it's like you have to be very specific with your manifestations and very clear with the universe. You can't be like wishy-washy. You have to be like concise and clear about what you are thinking, feeling, and speaking into action, into manifestation. So by you clearing the clutter around you physically and mentally and emotionally and spiritually, you then are manifesting in things quicker. Ooh, Three of Cups. This is about friendships celebrations, support system. So I feel you guys have maybe new friendships coming in or just in general. Uh, once you come out of that hermit mode, there's going to be celebrations with friends. You're going to feel a lot better, a little more clarity, um, more vision towards what you are desiring, having you know the steps in your mind about how you need to do this or do that to progress forward. And I feel like, you know, just being around friends after you come out of that hermit mode is going to be really healing for you and be like a boost to your energy. But you have to go through the clearing first because we don't want other people's energy to taint you while you're clearing out. Seven of Swords. And that's not saying that you have to be completely isolated and not talk to anybody, but you get what I'm saying, like kind of distance yourself a little bit to give yourself a little bit more time alone. So Seven of Swords, this is about, um, it could be like th uh, theft, betrayal, dishonesty, running away from something. Um, like maybe you're being dishonest with yourself. And so it's about, you know, really looking within yourself and seeing where you've been lying to yourself, where you've been betraying your own, you know, authentic self. How have you uh, allowed others to maybe be dishonest with you or maybe you're running away from something about yourself or a situation? So this feels like this could be a part of the clutter I was picking up on. So by you doing this little clearing away, it's also going to give you a new perspective on your own inner authentic self and like what your authentic self needs in order to come out in order to express itself and I feel like for some time you've been running away from your authentic self or you know not hearing what you need and so this inner wisdom this clarity that's coming from doing all the work is going to help you identify and not be afraid of your calling, not be afraid of why you are meant to be here. I feel it's like a like a wake up call to why you're here. 
kind of deep. All right. So those are the messages I had for you guys. Let's get one final affirmation card of what Spirit wants to leave you with for July. I'm filling this card. Heart and mind affirmation. My heart is open and my mind is clear. Oh my gosh, they couldn't have picked a better card for you guys. Yeah, it's about getting the clarity by clearing out the clutter in your heart, clearing out the clutter in all areas of your life, and mentally, emotionally, physically, and spiritually. And then you're going to have so many beautiful new things coming in. So those are your messages for July. I hope you have an amazing July, and I will see you guys in another reading. Bye.